Canva for desktop is here. I am so excited to dive into a tutorial today showing you how to download the desktop version of Canva. And for those of you who are new, hello, welcome. My name is Andrea Jones. I'm a social media strategist and I'm dedicated to keeping social media simple and fun and easy, which is why I love using tools like Canva. You can try Canva out for yourself for free. The link is down below. Um, and before I dive into showing you how to access Canva for desktop, I wanted to let you know that my Canva course called Visually Savvy is free right now in collaboration with, with Teachable. Uh, but let's dive into this tutorial. All right, so let's download the Canva desktop application. Now, to get to this screen here, you're going to type in your browser, canva.com slash download. Okay, so that's canva.com slash download, and it'll automatically redirect you to the page uh, looking at what system you're using. So I'm using a Mac, so it's going to give me the Mac version of that download. If you are using a PC, you will see the PC version of that download. But in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to utilize the Canva for Desk top application using Mac. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is click download, and that's going to download a DMG file to my computer. Now, I'm going to save this into my downloads folder. You can save this wherever you'd like, um, but this is just that initial DMG file. So once you have it downloaded, you can click it open. Um, either it'll be in your downloads folder or, again, it'll be um, saved as a uh, DMG file wherever you have saved it. All right, once that application is downloaded, you can drag it into your applications folder. You'll also see on the right-hand side here, it's already popped up on my desktop, which I got really excited about. <laughs> uh, but you can save this wherever you'd like, and it's just going to take a few moments to transfer those files over. All right, now that that is done, uh, you can go ahead and click it open, either from here or from your downloads folder. I'm just going to double click on this, and it's going to open up the application. When you get to the screen, it does pop up asking you if you do want to open this application since it did come from the internet. This is just a security application. Go ahead and click open for this. All right, so here we are in the Canva application. And so the great thing about this is that you don't have to have your browser open to use Canva anymore. You can download this application. I'm going to go ahead and log in so you can see what it looks like. All right, so I've logged in and I'm looking at the most recent designs here. Um, you can also create a new design and it's very nice because it's all on the desktop. Um, so it does need the internet to run. Um, so you do have to have that, but it's not going to be open in your browser like Chrome or um, Safari or something like that. Um, so from here, you can drag and drop. Uh, you also have access to all of your pro features from here. So if you have your uh, pro fonts that you've uploaded, as well as the access to the um, photos that are included with pro as well. So let's say you wanted to add in a photo, you could do that as well. Happy designing. And there you have it. I hope you're off to creating some fun Canva designs for your social media accounts. And as I mentioned in the beginning, make sure to access the course while it's free. It's only a limited time while it's free in collaboration with Teachable. I'll see you there. Bye for now.